Hello and welcome back to Show Studio for what is actually our last um, look at the fashion that we've been seeing in menswear London. And it's been quite interesting um, and I must apologise for the fact we are late. I very kindly asked these people to um, change that the time of the, the broadcast and um, they kindly agreed. I went to see the Burberry show where kindness stopped because they had very kindly started at two minutes past four, which I think, uh, no, four minutes past two, I'm sorry, which I think is a little unfair in London where moving around is so difficult. It's been very on time. It, it? Well, it's, it's ludicrous. It's absolutely ludicrous. Unless they give us helicopters, you know, and they give us no warning either. You know, we've always thought, right, well, 10 past, it's gonna always 50 gonna minutes past, minutes. maybe 20 minutes past even later. You know, if a model isn't there or if something's gone wrong behind, they, they keep us waiting. Mm. So I'm not feeling terribly benign, but I know that my guests here are. So let them introduce themselves in the most benign way possible. Hi, I'm Jez Tozer. I'm a fashion photographer and filmmaker. Um, I worked for Nick Knight many years ago and a uh, regular contributor of Show Studio. And um, I'm Fred Butler, I'm an accessories designer and I also write a blog so I go to all the shows and different events to see what's going on and report it. I'm Gary Aston, I'm a brand consultant, I work predominantly with Adidas who returned me but I work for a bunch of other people as well. Okay, so we're, we're, this afternoon we're looking at Christopher Stannon so I think we'll just go straight into the pictures and see what you have to say. So the first one, we've had it up for some time, so we've been able to have a good look at it. Let's sort of do the most obvious thing and ask Jez if he has any comments or do you want to see more before you make any comments? Should we see a couple? All right, let's well, see. Then, <coughs> do you, Fred, I, do you I want to say? I was there. You were there, right. Yeah, so I can say um, as soon as this came out, I knew it was going to be good because uh, of his hair. You might not be able to tell there, but it was just covered in glitter. And um, yeah, like he had been at a party, and that's the, the mood of it that it's come from um, like 90s rave culture. And uh, as you'll see, the colours start to come. Right. But yeah. What about the actual garment? Do you want me to talk about them? Well, yes, I mean, you know, we've been talking about the hair, which is very interesting, of course. But what is he wearing? Well, this one is actually different to. The majority of looks that you'll see that they've got two waistbands that it's shorts that are high and then pants that are riding low oh and right. the two which is really cool yeah yeah but so that number one doesn't but have this is two piece just mm -hmm. shorts and ah is that one piece i think it's a top and shorts but um gary what are you making of this the shoes um, they're um, a, coll a collaboration with kickers that look like sandals that are over the kickers. But I don't know if that's a all in one thing. I, s I, I was invited to the show, but because I was doing this, I wasn't able to give up that amount of time mm. out of the day. Mm. And uh, But I really wanted to go along to it. Um, the invitation had a picture of three guys sitting in a bedroom with flyers all over the walls mm. for rain dance. Um, I don't know, I, 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 my raving days ended in 1990, to be honest with you. 90s rave culture, to me, was kind of everything that late 80s rave culture stood against. So I'm not a big fan of 90s rave culture. It might have been 80s. I might have yeah. got that wrong. Yeah. Well, it says the, the I think this is a really interesting point because I kind be of more, more feel better. the same way, but actually the title of this whole discussion is to do with commerciality, which I think is also very interesting. His references, as we can see on here, are actually yeah, it does seem. predominantly cream, cream and garlands yeah. in paradise. So when, when and cream that? was after sort of le a, a little, a very very late eighties, early nineties, and onwards, wasn't it? It was it was early nineties. To me, to me, by the time yeah. clubs like Cream came along, that was a kind of super club era, which to me, as I say, was everything that rave wasn't. But the interesting thing about the interesting thing of choosing Cream is, is it's one of the clubs that has evolved and carried on and carried on, and they have events worldwide. So it's not you can't actually define Cream 
so specifically. Right. You know, if you said Hacienda or you said something mm -hmm. like that, then it's, yeah, it's, it's a much more yeah. specific yeah. definition. Yeah. But the interesting thing about cream is, is that it's a much more kind of open reference. It's, you know, they do parties in Ibiza, they do parties in Russia, they do parties yeah. all around the world. And I think it does lend itself to a, a kind of broader church. Well, I have to ask the question, if you looked at that outfit there, those clothes there, would you may immediately say cream? If you didn't have that written down for you? No, but no, I, don't, I, I don't think I, so. I don't think that's the idea, though. I think it's about trying to sort of take that as a, an inspiration point and contemporize mm -hmm. exactly. it. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I feel much more comfortable with this outfit than the previous two. I just don't do it. I just don't do anything sleeveless. Anything that's kind of cut off here or cap sleeve to me is like a absolute no no but Could you say why it's just one of those things i've never really worn i'm a, I'm a skinny dude i haven't got big arms it's not my it's not my <laughs> thing you know so <laughs> okay. but I, it's, I, I just it's it's not a look that i i particularly like on, on men it's it's uh it, it, you know in, in in menswear it's not really my thing this you know I, I i can kind of i can get with this a lot more let's go back a minute no, let's go let's can we go back And the one, yes. The, the I love Fred, it. what was this fabric, do you think? What was it? I think that's a kind of a plasticated cotton, cotton. like a tablecloth. Right. I'm right. guessing. I don't know. And are they, uh, kind of. Sorry, go on. Yeah. Are the, are the shorts, as, um, or whatever we're calling them, as stiff as they look, do you think? What happens when he sits down? Is it like... A, a Victorian woman in a crinoline and it all goes up at the front? Potentially. I think that'll bend. That's what I want to know. Because if you look here... It's quite simple. Oh, I can't oh, do oh, that, oh. can I? If you look here on the right, if you look here, you can in see it's creases. actually bending. Yeah. Yes. I think that when you it's sit down, I think little. when you sit down that way. All right, OK, good. Do you feel happy with that? No, you don't. That's the one you're not happy with. I, I, you know, I, I'm, the fabric looks pretty interesting, yes. to be honest. It's, it, you know, it reminds me of a, a sort of fabric like a, a Stone Island would use. Or a, you know, but it's, it's just a silhouette that I'm, that right. I'm personally not big in. But, you know, it's, um, I, I love the shine and I also love the colour. I think the yeah. colour yeah. is a colour. It's really that's, that's beautiful. Strong. That grey is like dove grey. It's incredible. Yes, I agree. Let's go on because we didn't talk about this. Does that work? The daphne at the top and then... There's a lot of shears in the collection. A lot of shears, Every, are they? Everyone mm. that I've seen mm -hmm. has had a shear, some printed, What's happening around here? Some is that, lace. Is that the top? Is that the shirt yeah, over the... The shirt's over the shorts? Yes, but they're high With shorts. The but they're high shorts, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yes. And it's then true. the shirt's got to gather around the bottom. Yes. Yeah. I think that's great. I mean, you know, I not necessarily think I can pull it off, but I think it's a great look. What do you think one needs to pull that off? Height? Um, Long legs? I think it's also to do with body colour. No, it's body colour. Right. For me, that look works really well with a nice brown skin, but I think with a pale skin, it just mm, wouldn't be for me. I think you're right, actually. I wouldn't want to wear anything you could see my nipples through. Oh, I'm okay with that. If, yeah. I'm, if I was not really brown, I'm fine with me. that. Not for me. <laughs> it's very interesting because there's, there's more and more of this see-through business coming in for men. Mm. I don't live the life or live in the area of London where I would see that, but Fred, do lots of guys, outside clubs, do lots of guys wear net things or... Net, yeah, a lot of Or that. sheer things. But I haven't seen any sheer, so I guess it's going to come no, in now true. because everyone's used it and in a, their own different Been ways. very strong, certainly, yeah. yes. But I think that's an interesting point. You just said outside clubs. And the interesting thing about this collection is, is that mm. essentially the, the whole reference point is clubs. Yes, but the clothes, are, uh, most of the clothes we've seen so far are outdoor clothes, really, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, mm. but, I, but, but it's taking I, you know, I think inspiration from that. You, you, you look at culture and actually look at what people buy fashion for. And I was thinking about this today, I was thinking, well, apart from us a lot, a lot of people, they really buy the clothes that they really, they're into for outside work yes. hours. We wear stuff that we like when we're working. But a lot of people kind of wear work clothes for work and then, and then when they go out, thing. they wear yeah. stuff like this. Yeah. So actually, you know, the idea that a lot of, you know, high-end luxury menswear 
bought by people with good disposable incomes who don't necessarily work in an industry where they were every day, they wear it to go out. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I would wear that, yeah. frankly. I mean, I, like I don't think my legs would look yeah. too good. I'm certainly not the right <laughs> colour. But there's nothing there that's frightening for any age, really. No. No, the I, components I, are very simple. Yeah. And yet it looks crisp and modern and yeah, it looks really young. Looks and it also looks very masculine, mm -hmm. I think. I think that's the interesting point about this is that it, all of it so far, even the sheer for me, feels very masculine. Let's go on and see if that's maintained. Well, I think that's <coughs> what Christopher Shannon is, like that's his unique selling point, that he makes things that are totally wearable and not scary but yet really, really interesting and unique. He's got that perfect balance, and that's why he does well commercially, mm. I think, because he just gets it right every time. It's not, you know, yes. going for shock value. It's just... No, you, it's, you it's, it's wear interesting it. without being shocking or outrageous. Yeah. They're moving them too quickly. Can, Can we, we go, go back? back? I mean, this is that looks I would terrific. wear that every, any yeah, day. I would wear week. that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. I'd be taking for a waiter in it, but that doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> I love a drawstring, and I, li I like the height of the trousers and the fact that, I mean, yes. are they gathered or rolled? I can't work it out. I'm not going to get up. I get think they're, I th they're, they're gathered, rolled, are they? I thought they were rolled. What do you think? Either way, I like the way it's done. Either way, it's, yeah. the, right, it's, the, right, it's height. the right height and yeah. everything, yes. I think that's really I very, think that's I think it's beautiful, beautiful. That, really, yeah. to be honest. Would you agree? Yeah. No, really like it. Really like it. So now we'll go to the other one. You're so keen to show us. <laughs> um, this is a print. And this is them um, referencing the, 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 flyers. the flyers. Yeah, yeah. that's where it's come through into the print. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of on point at the moment for what's kind of happening culturally as well. You know, yes. there's, there is definitely. You know, within music, there seems to be a lot happening. There's, there's people like Jaguar Ma who are making, it's almost, I mean, when I first heard their music, it just made me feel really old. Because it just sounds like the music that I was listening yeah. to when I was 19. It's like baggy Manchester music. It kind of sounds like A to H State meets the Beach Boys. It's kind of, and, mm. and, and I was I was listening to some, um, to, to, to actually to an acid house compilation a few weeks ago and some kids came into the office from Roll Deep and they were talking about how all the grime kids are listening to 303 sounds and uh, we were joking, we were calling them gravers because it's grime heads that are going right, raving. Yeah. But so there seems to be a real sort of movement within culture with a, a new generation who are really referencing all that kind of late 80s acid house thing. So it's kind yeah. of quite on point from that point. Mm -hmm. Music is obviously a very, very powerful incentive to, to fashion. Mm. Do, is it constantly, is, is fashion always um, thinking about music and monitoring music and reflecting music? Or are we in a period now where it's a little more than it normally is, would you say? I think it depends which area of fashion, but I think street fashion mm. always has a kind of a musical mm. influence going into yeah. it. And I think what you've ended up, what's ended up happening as a result of that is some of the kind of, the more sort of she-she fashion houses have yeah. started pulling their checkbooks out and mm. wanting to associate themselves Buying with their musicians as well. Yeah, Buying trying to, because yeah. they're all trying to be a little bit more street, whatever that's supposed but to never be works. nowadays. But, no, I, it never, yeah, it never never but I think there's been a really interesting shift politically because actually the, mu the music industry is a position now where you can, anyone can, anyone can produce something, anyone can put it out there, get it sold on iTunes. I mean, literally anyone can get something on iTunes, mm. record a track, get it on iTunes. Mm. It's really very straightforward. Justin Bieber started his whole career on YouTube with a few yeah. YouTube videos. Yeah. And I think the music industry now is in a much more exciting political dynamic, possibly than the fashion industry, because of that new way of working. You know, it's able to actually do these things in a much more fluid way than and in more instantly. than the system of fashion. Yeah. I, I think there's a, there's there's a there's a, a difference though between the music industry and music. I think music is energised right now, but the music industry itself is more sort of banal and commercially driven than it ever was because people are terrified for the mm. job. So it's kind of like Absol yes, absolutely. Yeah, you know, but but so, what so, I'm talking so about is, is yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, perhaps I used the wrong phrase. Yeah, what yeah. I'm talking about is actually what we're getting as a consumer. What's being put out there? What's being put out there 
is is very very exciting at the moment because there isn't this kind of structure where there's controlling from an institution. It's yeah. very democratised in terms of production, in terms of creativity, and we you know we haven't quite got to a point in fashion where we've utilised new technologies in the way that music's been able to to go actually. We don't need a record company. Yeah, it's kind of necessity is the mother of invention, though. People don't sell records anymore. And, you know, it, there's, I mean, I know this is a fashion discussion, so we don't want to go off on too I much. I was just to say. Yeah, <laughs> we could go off I'm on too much of a tangent. Here. You but there's, you know, there's, you, you know, with that, there's a lot of people putting stuff out there, but the quality of it's questionable because there's no A&R anymore. There's no kind of artist development anymore. There's, you know, especially, no, especially for... I think that's why the quality is probably better. Especially for, I mean, if you're talking about music like dance music that you can make in a bedroom, fine. If you're talking about a, a music where you need guitars, drums, and a band set up, it's harder than it ever was. Okay, enough of my music for the moment. What I would say, well, though, is when, you say, <laughs> yeah, well, when, when yeah. you say that the music industry is getting very banal, but music itself is interesting at the moment, I think that absolutely sums up fashion. Would you think that, Fred? I think the fashion industry is totally banal. and going around in circles, and it's very tired. But individual designers yeah. are doing marvellous things, and a lot yeah, of them are doing it here, of course. Yeah. 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 What sort of price, Fred, would these clothes be? Are they I, I don't pretty buy expensive? Clothes, or? So I don't know. But um, I know that he, he has a lot of stockists, and uh, that's what we're going to be talking about, isn't it? Um, getting it right. And so he probably has got a good price point. Right. Yeah. Where is he? Uh, would he be stocked in Selfridges, for example? Where would he? Because these clothes are just about able to go to a place. Like Selfridges without sure frightening people. Next, uh, yes, he's probably more likely to be in half. Sure yeah. yeah. This what, what is this thing in the middle? Are, are, are those? So it's the trousers boxes? underneath pulled up I, ah. by the look of it, and then shorts. And the shorts are over the top of the yeah. trouser. Right. So that. So the trousers. Oh yes, I've just really looked at his well. legs. Yes. Yeah. Quite. Um, so the, sh the the white is the top of the trousers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So they're really sheer as well. Mm. I like the fact that there's a sort of little turn up, which is white with the grey. Mm. I mean, not very practical, particularly in London and in the rain, which is going to happen at any moment. Mm. Um, but do we think that's as nice as the as the ones we've seen so far? I don't. It's think not my favourite look, no, but no. But individually, as pieces, I mean, you know, people wouldn't wear it like that, would they? You know. No. But he's, he, that's his projection yeah. for the way he would want it to be worn. So you have to look at it, not the way that people would um, mm -hmm. alter it, but we've, we're, we're here to assess his statement, I think. It's got we, the best can we zoom into that or not? It's got the best air. We don't have yeah. any zoom. So good. I'm well, trying look, to work out what the top is. Yes, we quite. Well, we might see another which is similar. Could we see? No, not similar at all. You've got your drawstring again. Got the high waist again. And a high waist. More shiny. And this is like classic Christopher Shannon with that kind of waxy mm -hmm. tracksuit. Waxy, it's, it's sort of wax. It's like, um, you know, that sort of oil cloth that people buy mm. to put on kitchen tables. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's not oil cloth, where it's sort of shiny and a little stiff. It looks as if it's like that. It's album. almost, yeah. But it would have to be more malleable. It's almost a bit like oil skin, the old oil skin. Yeah, oil, uh, exactly. Oh, yeah. Like you, the, the um, what do you call them, the, the lifeguards and yeah. people, you know, they go out to save ships so or something. Yeah. Exactly. It's kind yeah. of glossy oil skin. Uh, yes. Well, that's fun. What is it? Is ja it is one? It jacket and shoes? It, it's, it's two yeah. pieces, is it? Yeah, it's two pieces. Yeah. And What's um, the fabric? You know. Yes. Oh, I think it's just like a cotton. Mm. Well, the fabrics are sort of multi. Well, there's it's a, a colour going on there. It'd be great if you had kids in the car and they were bored, and you gave each one a follow the line yeah. and follow the line <laughs> to see who got there first. You know, if Dad took his shirt off, it'd be fabulous. <laughs> They'd love that. That's, That's much nicer with yeah. the grey, mm -hmm. much less insistent. Yeah. I love that, actually. Mm -hmm. 
This is pretty strong, I think, really this strong. collection. It's quite hallucinogenic. Well, it yeah. is really. Yes, if someone was standing next to you in a pub and you'd been there for a few hours, <laughs> I think you might suddenly oh. begin to feel a little yeah. sort of unwell. Do you remember this one, Fred? Um, what is it? Is it a cardigan on top of I what? I think what, what, it's what? Knit, what? Knit, it's like a knit jumper. It's a knit, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yes. But yeah, you're right. It is quite um, trippy. <laughs> it's like the logo has gone. Whoo! I yeah. think yeah. that's sort of, yeah. That sort of thing is always a really good on the runway. But you know, you'd you'd wear that to so go down to the pub for a drink. People would say, "Wow, I love that!" Or, "What the hell are you wearing?" Or something. But you what, the top or the bottom? The top. You couldn't wear that top. Oh, I think very often because people would say, "Oh, not that same old bloody top." You know, we oh, haven't it's got yeah. anything else. It's too insistent. I think. Yeah. It's quite interesting though, with reference to the whole rave culture, because I remember this. It was well, late eighties, very early nineties. All the kind of like all the early ravers were literally like expropriating really odd French brands like Chevignon and Chippy mm -hmm. and it was all about a big logo. Naf Naf. Yeah. Naf Naf, Chevignon, yeah. They all Chippy. They loved that down here, didn't they? Naf Naf. And it's quite interesting because I kind of like it in that way. Well, I, yeah. I like it. I think it's terrific. I love those colours. Yeah, that was really strong. Mm. That's really it's good, uh, it was a really good blue. I mean, there's got, you know, you, yes, you've, got to have, you've got to have confidence that you've got equity in your brand to be able to brand something as, as heavily as that. But I think yeah. it's kind of in keeping with the, you know, the mindset of the people that were doing that thing, mm. it, you know, in, in the 90s and mm. the late 80s for sure. Um, and that's no. what he's always done as well. He's always put his name in his prints from the very beginning. I yeah, think that's part of like yeah, the, 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 whole the nice, thing. Mm. it's good fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's clever as well. Yeah. I think this is a very confident statement, mm. really. The more we see yeah. it, the more I'm impressed. Everything that I've seen come from him over the years, it's been like, um, the thing I like about what he does, he always seems, seems to reference his kind of roots, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, coming from Liverpool, he's always kind of gone for that sort of sportswear thing and yeah. shell suits and very kind of, you know, and then going on to this stuff where he's, you know, he's, he's obviously at a time in his life that he has a fondness for and he's, he's taking that. But like I say, I, I think what's interesting about this is that he's contemporising it and he's not just doing kind of reissues of stuff no. that was around no. back then. You know, it, this doesn't look 90s, it looks 21st yeah. century, you know. Yeah. Yes, I think you're absolutely right. It looks a century now. Yeah. Definitely. Does he do women's wear? I think there have been ladies on the runway last season, but I think it is men's wear. But this coming out now is a collaboration with Liberty, uh, so who print, printed on yeah. nylon for him. And uh, I want that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Well, I'm There's sure a really know. nice bomber coming off it. I thought you didn't shop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't shop. With, she with friends. Yeah. That's very yeah. different yeah. things. Oh, okay. sent. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you said nothing about shopping there. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember what that... I, I can't see it. My eyes are good enough. What, what, what was that? Matching what print. Is that uh, what is the print? In that, is um, it the big is, I think it's floral. I think it yeah, is like floral. a, is it floral? a liberty. It's floral, but it's quite classic liberty. Yeah. yeah. This is this is going to be all about the fabric, you know. That we, yes. we can't really do this justice by looking at an image of it. No, you're, you're right. going to have to check what the fabric is because yes. I know that he's he's done something with liberties for this. Mm. I, I That's read. what you do miss, of course, by not being there. I guess. Mm. Next, another one. So now we're going through the liberties phase. Yeah. yeah that. That's, That's the one. <laughs> so nice. And then that's optional. You can unslip, I unzip think that's a the super sleeves. Cool look. So do I. I think really, the colours, really the cool. colours are lovely. Mm. And the scale of the print on the pocket and the um, yeah. collar is slightly it's larger. Fabulous. It's beautiful. Yeah. Very confident. Yeah. I guess the shots are black, but I want them to be forest green, deep, yeah. deep, deep green. I think they'd look terrific. You know, the florals to me are more of a reference to the late eighties and the early 90s as yes, well so sort of early 90s to me rave yes. culture was kind of a bit nouveau riche where the 
late 80s was all that kind of hippie daisy yeah, age exactly. floral stuff yes but he's brought it back in a very contemporary way yes yeah, it's, it? it's, it's good what he's doing what's that around the waist I think that's his something rolled up it's just the pair underneath oh, right, worn okay. high right, so yeah, yeah. it's like pulling Another them up and shorts. wearing them lower yeah I love this soft pink that mm. we're seeing so much dust, of at the dust moment. Pink. Dusty pink, yes. What fabric is that? It's great. Cotton. It looks like great it could even colour. be Co silk. It's a beautiful colour. Yeah. I would have thought it's cotton, isn't it? Gary, what do you think? Like maybe it's not crisp enough for cotton. Washed cotton, maybe. I wouldn't like to say. The shorts look like they're really going. They feel might very be light. Silk. Though. Yes. yes, very light. It's almost like. S -s 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 what, what What do you think about that collar? The 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 the, the leg. Quite, quite, I like yeah. that. Are you asking because you don't or because you do? Yeah, I mean, I I love the length of the sleeves. I'm not too. I I personally wouldn't wear a collar that. But. Would you wear it open? Mm, would it make any difference not, to the collar? No, not, definitely, definitely not. not. But because a lot of his things have been with open collars, mm. but not for you. I like the shorts. Yeah, the shorts are great. Really yeah. nice. And this is uh, latex rubber so the coming thing, in right. now. It's a section of that. Wear that collar. Mm. Better shirt. That's nice. Shorts are great, mm. beautiful, beautiful colour. So you've got a very good colour sense, I think. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. a good pattern sense as well. Mm. Quite apart from the Liberties ones. Mm. Yeah. Peppermint green. Given the amount of big fashion houses that are kind of attempting to do what they call sportswear these days, which is kind of a very loose term for what some of them are doing indeed. but um, indeed you know I think this this guy could end up with quite a big job at some point because it's, it seems to be like his niche and his speciality mm. that he's that he's that he's really going after yes um, you know a, a lot of them for me almost do a, a disservice to true sportswear by calling themselves sportswear yes, you know for me sportswear has become this term that gets thrown about in fashion and banded about you're talking about sportswear in, in, in 2013, you're talking about something that in essence is scientific, you know, and I think the way that fashion companies use that term so loosely almost does a disservice to the technicians and laboratories that you are mean developing. The materials that have been made in laboratories, does, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does say actually does he's say using some kind of um, collaboration. Um, who is it with? I'm dyslexic, what's it say? Um, because it's, you know, like a lot yeah. of sports... But, oh, so he's exploring innovative techno and performance fabrics in this collection. Yeah. He's, he's doing it. I wasn't he's doing saying he wasn't. wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, no, I'm saying, yeah, he is. No, I'm yeah. agreeing with you. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've seen quite a few interesting people, but to me this seems to be a very consummate and very clear and confident statement. He knows what he wants to say and what he doesn't want to say. It's really it's well very coherent. Edited. Yeah, absolutely. The, the point I'm making is, it's though, when you're talking about there. sportswear, it's, it's, it takes more than just using a breathable fabric to be able to call something sportswear in my book. Because, you know, you. It, it, when you're talking about sports, when I talk about being scientific, you're talking about things that not milliseconds off 100 metre sprinters, etc., etc. Et you yeah. know, there's a, an, and the amount yeah. of work and effort that tirelessly goes into mm. that stuff by these guys who are kind of, you know, almost like lab technicians mm. yeah. developing this stuff. I mean, I, you know, speaking from, from an Adidas perspective, they've got like a laboratory in Germany where they've got, you know, they've got robots in there and all kinds of stuff yeah. developing, you know, so sometimes it's like, oh, we used a breathable fabric. Oh, it's very sporty. And it's like, mm. yeah, it's, you know, it's become a very, very loose term. It's almost, yeah, I think it's very lazily used these days. You know, for me, all, for me, a lot yeah. of it's leisure work. It's leisure, work. It's leisure, it's leisure, work. leisure. It's not exactly. sports work. 
I think that's the thing. There's a sort of semantic issue. I think people use the word sports when actually a lot of the yeah. time they actually mean leisure. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's all the fault of the journalists, really, because we can't keep up with all the changes, you know, so we don't know what to call them, really. We used to get stylists when I, you know, when I worked as an Adidas employee. We'd have stylists come in and they'd say, "Yeah, we want, we want some sneakers. We want old school sneakers." And you sort of like, "Yeah, but can you be more specific?" Yeah. No, we want old school. Yeah. And it's like, that's kind of like quite a broad and term. You, and you sort of, you know, when you know anything back. about them, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, it's almost like sports wears its own kind of world. Really, it's, yeah. it's, it, 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 it's, um, it's like denim in a way where you've got people who really know their onions about denim, and you might get fashion brands that do denim and do jeans, but then it's not in the same league as people who understand about, you know, looms and sure. you know, selvage and. No. It's true. All of this is very, um, I'm going to use the word sporty, but it's all very outdoor, isn't it? There's nothing even vaguely formal in any of this. Or well, it, it, I, could it be? Not, not necessarily formal, but I don't know if it's all outdoors. Is it? I'm just thinking, if you don't like shorts, if you've got dreadful legs, you've got to find a, quite a problem here, aren't you? Maybe just because it's spring, summer. I don't know it's gone for that. If clubs are anything like what they used to be when I was going out, they'd get pretty hot and sweaty. Yeah. Though. You know, if you're, at, yeah. if you're out in Ibiza yeah, or I'm wherever sure. you're it's sort true. of like, right. it does get yes. pretty warm. That, I think, is the end of it. Can we just slowly go back over it and is that the last have one? a look? Cause I, yes. Because I have really enjoyed this. Me too. And I have to say, thanks to Burberry, I came in in a very bad temper. But it's put me in a very good, mood. Oh, that's good. very good mood. Yeah, okay, just keep them moving. I really wish I'd seen this. Yeah, me too. So I'd like to see exactly what happens to the shorts when they're walking along and everything. I love his blues. Yes. I really love his blues. And, and I pink. love that pink. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sold on the Liberty prints. Oh, the, yeah, Are you? they're nice. I think that is great. terrific. Yeah. That one's yeah. terrific. I agree. But the others, there's a bluey, bluey grey one. That one, I think that's just too feminine, really. And perhaps that as well. But as Gary said, we can't really judge because you've got to see the prints. Mm -hmm. The it's fabric, true. it's about the fabric, yeah. isn't it? The shorts are great. Yeah. I could see why Liberty would want to, to cooperate with him. I'm not sure why he wanted to cooperate with Liberty because he could have done his own. I mean, he's yeah. clever enough to work out his own patterns, I would have thought. These are great. But again, I wonder about the, 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 the huge thing on the front and how quickly you Interestingly, get yeah, that orange one with and this one, one of the few pale skinned models and actually oh yes, his clothes true. look really good on people. Nice they look like something more from a dark skin, absolutely. They m look like they could come from a diffusion range of his more than a sort of mainline. Oh, uh, maybe, yes. Because, you know, thinking about brands particularly, yeah, to this day I guess, you know, you always get that thing where if you look at a Giorgio Armani versus an you know, Armani jeans or whatever it is these days, Armani exchange, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah. they'll go heavy with the lower goals, but sure. Giorgio will just yeah. stay away from that completely. Yes, exactly. I like that. I prefer the grey and white to the black yes, and white. Yes, definitely. I love that. A bit more than survey, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can the mountains really be that high? Yeah. <laughs> I'm worried about these ones that seem to hang at the back, lower back, lower at the back in a baggy way. What do they actually look like, Fred, when you are? I think that's just the position of his leg. Do you? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can't tell. His leg's though, very far forward. Okay. Because when you really get pernickety about these photos, yeah, it's not the same as. It's really see it, no. Yeah. No. As, a, as a body. And oh, the other pattern. thing is, the cat walks on a hill this season, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, oh no, is this this top oh, no, wasn't it? No, it wasn't it? Top yeah, no, it wasn't it? The top man one is, yeah, is, it is good. Oh, is it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. So he may well be yes. coming up a hill. Or yes. 
vice versa. I've right. got to say, I think Fred's got an unfair advantage on everybody on the panel. Because she's actually, she's actually been at the show, yeah. so now she's come away with the, you know, the emotional attachment to exactly. the experience. And yes. this is just kind of bringing it all yes. back. I mean, what I'd be into, what, what was the soundtrack of the show? Oh, he always has really good music that I love, but I actually can't remember from this one because I was looking at the clothes. I'll try and remember. Dance music? You've got a bit on your vinyl. You play it? Oh, yeah, could do to bring it back. Um, I actually yeah, it's can't quite remember. This was taking up all my senses. I've heard it. But normally that is like key, isn't it, to what he, what he does? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite yeah. kind of, it's quite banging, isn't it? This I like very much. This is my favourite as well. That's I would wear that every That's day of the week. Special. You see, I think anybody could wear that. I think mm. even people of my age could wear that if they were reasonably slim. I like the long. I like the long collar on that shirt. I really do. Yeah, no, I, I, mean, I think. It's like I think it's. I think it's yeah. really. It sort of sets it apart from that very. It's a. Ver it's a very lovely statement. I think it's quite an expensive, luxurious statement. That yeah, collar. I, li I like it. That's the one. That's lovely. What is that jacket sort of that same? Is it cotton or? or it looks like cotton. it's got some mm. sort of um, coating on it. it. Looks like it's kind of plastic. And those shorts look like a lovely kind of dark charcoal. Yes. Can you remember, Prince? We've got two more to go, I think. That one which worried me a bit, but you've you've calmed my fears by <laughs> just explaining it, Gary. I'm not I'm not unhappy anymore about it. Right. So I think we're going to say well done. We like it. Yeah? Fabulous. I think of all the shows I've reviewed here, that's the my favourite. The most yeah. confident. The yeah, most it's 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 the, the, the strongest. You know, I and, and, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not a fan of everything in it, but I'm, but you never. No, are well, how can you be? It's, it's, it's um, true. It's true. Well, now that we've come to the end of the shows, I think it'd be quite an interesting thing, if and I know we haven't all seen all of the shows, if we talk a little bit about London. There's been a huge amount of hype. Is it hype or is it the reality that we've really? made a mark now on international men's fashion. Who would like to start? Um, Fred, off you go. I, it just occurred to me that I think it's going to be strange when I'm talking to the next generation about it saying I remember a time when it didn't exist and that it did become one day tagged on to the end of women's and then yeah. it became its own standalone thing because I'm sure it is going to stay in keep rolling and oh I think so I get, think enough money's bigger, been invested so in it yeah. to not let it fail really yeah um, I have only been to a couple of shows but I didn't see many foreign press or buyers were there many foreign press and buyers at, at this one because they'd all be saving themselves for Burberry of course because oh. there are certain shows they've got to see and Burberry's clearly one of them but do, oh, oh, Gary, you're suspiciously quiet. You're looking just a little bit. I'm thinking cynical. about the, the question, really. I mean, yeah. um, you would hope that London would be kind of on the map, given how important it is culturally, because you know, if if, if you look at, I mean, it's, it's a generalisation, but there's a lot of great stylists and great photographers who and photographers who come from this country, and you know, the amount of um, you know, subcultures, music cultures, youth cultures, whatever you want to call them, that are born out of this country and are still being born out of this country, then you would, you'd like to think that would be reflected in, in fashion, sure. really, because, you know, you, you get a lot of these um, brands, overseas brands who are looking at us for, for inspiration and then taking that inspiration and running mm. with it. So, you know, I think yeah. London is, you know, it, it, it really is, Vibrant. I want to say London. I mean the UK. It's pretty vibrant. It's yeah. not. It's not solely London. I mean, there's a lot of great music cultures that have come well, out sure. of the country. That in, in the major into, cities yeah, in Sheffield the north. and yeah. Manchester. Sure. I think that the music thing is crucial. Uh, would you say that the music, at the music at this moment, is very strong? In the shows or generally? In no, as, as an industry. Well, as the music you made the in London. Well, in Great Britain, should we say, or London, if you wish. 
Yeah, and I think that's another interesting point about his references is that England, not necessarily London, like Manchester, Liverpool, has actually been at the kind of forefront of dance music, arguably almost consistently from like the late eighties when yeah, actually it started well, with yeah. Acid House and yeah. you know obviously Germany's got some things, America's got amazing things, and there are other things around the world, but. England has consistently had something to offer on the mm. kind of dance music mm. front, and I think that's quite an important part of our culture. Indeed, but what I'm saying is, does that affect designers here in a way that designers, say, in Paris or New York, aren't affected? I by think it has to affect them. I think there's yeah. th it's, it's unavoidable. You know, I think your, your environment is going to affect what, what, what you're designing and what you're creating. I mean, you know, going back a few years, but, you know, a, a magazine like The Face could only have come out of this country. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's, I'm just using that as an example, but, the, you know, and, and we still have the ability to, you know, the, 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 the mindset that's behind those magazines and, and the, 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 um, the subject matter that populated a magazine like The Face, yeah. not that there's anything like The Face necessarily now, but we still got the ideas and the days and the, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it's something that, is very uniquely ours. If you, if you look at a city like Paris, you know, and I love Paris, but you go there and look at it from a sort of a youth culture perspective, you know, from a club scene perspective, it's, it's it, I wouldn't yes. say it's nearly as exciting as what, what, what no. goes it on in the city. It doesn't translate, does it? I mean, I have not seen the punk exhibition at the Metropolitan New York, but I've read a lot about it and I've talked to American friends. Apparently it's an abject failure because the Americans don't get it. They don't understand the culture, and they haven't really explained the culture that's behind it. I think it's not easy for these sort of things to travel when it comes to clothes, and this is something I'd like you to answer, Fred. I think the vitality that which links to the music in fashion in Great Britain is men's fashion much more than women's fashion. Would you agree with that, or am I overstating? I suppose it's more obvious in men's wear because it has come from the subculture, the reference point for this. Yes, but what I think is men's wear here is very site specific. It's very British, where of course women's wear, particularly for young women perhaps, it's got to be universal. If they don't sell around the world, they're not going to last very long. And it's what makes me wonder just quite what will happen to some of these designers. I shared a taxi from a, a, a thing, show we saw this morning and with people who I think knew what they were talking about and they both told me they thought that 93%, very interesting figure, 93% of the people who are showing now will not be showing in four years time because they will have gone really? past. Do you think that's true Gary? So it's a very worrying thing because it means we're just overproducing, raising everyone's hopes and, and dashing them very quickly really. Well if you, if, if you trace that back to education there's a huge imbalance in this country with the amount of fashion design courses versus the amount of fashion promotion and fashion marketing courses, fashion journalism courses, you know it's, it's um, we, we you know we, we train a, an enormous number of kids in fashion design and they're coming out with degrees and huge debts nowadays. Yes. And and there's just not that many jobs for yeah. fashion designers out there. And and, and so it, you know that's you know I I, I used to um, graduate fashion week. I used to judge a creative marketing award, mm. and I'd go along there and to be you know all these kids with portfolios who have shown. And it's it's almost like I really felt from you know because it'd be yeah. like yeah I'm going to start my oh. own label and you're just like oh, do you know what you're up against do you know more. what I mean it's almost like the naivety more. of it do yeah. you know what I mean and also I think the immorality of them being allowed to go through college and think like that you know I I'm a trustee of Graduate Fashion Week and I was appalled to hear that five thousand design students have been thrown on the world this summer. Now, how many of them are going to get jobs? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Who is one of the most successful, what should we say, entrepreneurs of fashion? It's Henry Holland. Mm -hmm. He makes a great deal of money. He went to the London Business School. He didn't. He, he never studied fashion, no. No. He, you know, no. But he, he, you know, he, he started out with t-shirts, didn't he? That's and right. 
kind of t-shirts. Yeah, you know, if I was starting a fashion, I would start on t-shirts because they're cheap to do. Well, that's how all the streetwear. Yeah. That's how all the streetwear brands start. Yes. Bathing Ape started yes. with a few t-shirts. That's how where, where they all start from, really. That's the kind of. But it, you know, there's. Because I get the sense when I when I speak to graduates that you know they want to work in the fashion industry, and I'm thinking to myself, well, why have you just spent four years learning to pattern cut and yeah. do all that well, stuff there so when actually there, there's loads of other jobs, you and know, the that end up being very good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And 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 I think there's a yeah there's a huge imbalance there at the moment, and, and like you say, there's something immoral about the fact that's not actually being pointed yeah. out. Uh, perhaps I'm being a little harsh with the moral, but I certainly think it's irresponsible. Yeah. The problem being, of course, that colleges have to make money. The government insists, so they have to take a certain number of people. Yeah. You know? And then you've got, you know, the, the kind of, and uh, some people might not like me saying this, but you've got the St. Martin's brand. Absolutely. Which is kind of, you know, like, oh, they went to St. Martin's. Yes. Therefore, there must be, you know, I mean, it talks about Louise in there, who's a great, great lecturer, and she's a very good friend of the, the woman that lectured me. I studied up in Preston, you know, and I came to London and did internships, and I remember sort of going back to Preston, and they were kind of gobsmacked by the people that I'd actually worked for, because students from Preston just don't get those breaks. You know, I, I mean, fortunately, I, I went back as a mature student, and I was able to cajole my way into situations well, where a lot of, yes. yeah, yeah, a lot of, of just send, naively yes. just sending CVs out yeah. thinking that something's going to come back. So are we saying that um, we don't need a St Martins and it would be no, I'm not better? Say, what, I'm, what, what, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying we don't need St Martins at all. What I'm saying is that it, 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 um, there's less focus given to some of the other colleges outside yeah. of London. It's all this thing about, you know, it's, you know, St Martins will always have a very good turnout of people who are actually working in the industry looking for new talent. But, you know, when you go to some of the other colleges that don't have the kind of the power yeah. of that brand behind them. And to be fair to St Martins, they've produced some great designers oh, over sure. the years, and you know they, no they've doubt. built that brand has been built for good reason. Yes. But you know it's like. But it's also the first filter in a system of many filters. What is? Entrance into St Martin. Ah, right. It's the first step. It's the first filter, you know, and arguably one of the tightest filters at the beginning to actually weeding out the wheat from the chaff. Mm. Yeah, but who is the most successful designer? At the moment, in monetary terms, I would have said that it was Christopher Bailey, mm -hmm. and he went to the Royal College to yeah. do his MA. Mm -hmm. The Royal College doesn't try to do the same thing as the as St Martin's. Mm -hmm. The Royal College was set up to produce people who could go and work in industry, not to be famous designers, mm -hmm. but to work in industry. That was the whole point across all of the subject areas. It's St. Martin's, which is in love with stardom, really. Mm -hmm. And it started, it started, of course, with John Galliano and people like that. And then it came up through Hussein and, and Lee McQueen. And now it's almost a given that people must say, oh, he's from St. Martin's, he's fabulous. And therefore it's a calling card, yeah. So mm -hmm. it actually is, it's providing its own answer to the yeah, question, are we any good? I mean, it's the way of the world. It's the way but of the world. That is the way of the fashion and industry. And yeah, there's yes. so many of these things that do that in yeah, our system. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Um, absolutely. So I think we've probably sort of come to the end of what we wish to say. I've thoroughly enjoyed listening to you, and it's been very, very interesting. So let's just say very quickly, Jez, you like what we've seen of London fashion? Um, I particularly love Christmas show. This one, right? Fred? Yeah. <coughs> okay. I love this, and um, yeah. I think it's been a strong season. Good. Thumbs up for Well, you'll be very strong as well, and I hope we'll see you next season. Thank you very much indeed, and thank you very much indeed also.